The clock tonight, the Smith County Sheriff's Office is asking for our help in solving a case of stolen gear. Firefighter uniforms were taken from the chapel here, Hill Fire Department, and now they're looking into who may be responsible for that. KDK's Maya Owens has the latest on this burglary. Firefighters, you can recognize them by their uniform. That's what we use to make entry in a fire, protect us from the the heat and stuff, and then be able to do our job as well. Uniforms that were stolen from the Chapel Hill Volunteer Fire Department. Came up one night last week, and we saw that uh, there was a window on the back of our one building, it had plywood on it, it got tore off. Eight to ten sets were taken. Protective gear essential to keeping men and women who are fighting fires safe. Probably the one that took it don't realize what it means to us, hope and stuff that we use it for. I'd say that's part of our life saving equipment we use. The chief says gear like this can cost nearly $800, but when it comes between his firefighters and a fire, its use is priceless. Dress heavy at anybody's eye, what we call the hot zone, needs to have her PPE on, which is your coat and everything, and that's our protection. And so I guess they just don't realize what protection means to us. The suits were in the oldest building in what Chief Peterson says is the first fire station in Chapel Hill, a place with no security cameras surrounding it. And while the motive is unclear. The idea is of who wants to use it. I mean, it could be kids that have something to play with or somebody that needs something to keep warm. No matter the reason why, Chief Peterson says he simply would like the gear returned. My Owens, KETK News. And the note of that story, if the fire department says if the gear is not found, they will have to replace it. If you have any information on who's behind this crime, you can always contact the Smith County Sheriff's Office. You can find that information on our website, EastTexasMatters.com.